Hello everyone, welcome back to Dredge. Here at the Charred Pontoon, our one safe haven here in Devil's Spine, which has been a bit of a nightmare for us so far, really living up to its name. We continue to try to get all these different flames from all these different altars because uh, we've joined a cult now. And one of the things that we need is a flat ocean-dwelling fish, and it needs to be a sacrifice for this altar over there. I wasn't able to actually find the fish anywhere near the altar on the other side of the island, so today I'm actually just gonna go this way and see what we can find around here. I see other fishing spots. I also see scary fish that want to eat us, so... It's a gentle balance we must achieve between... Oh, there's a big mama. There's the big mama. We're gonna let her go by. Luckily, she is blind, but if her little followers see me, they will alert her to my presence. Now, actually, I think this is the fish we need right here. Wow. What luck is that? I'm pretty sure pale skate is the exact fish that we need. Okay, let's catch a, a couple for a good measure. Now, we actually gotta follow Big Mama down this way. I don't like the sounds that she makes. Fish shouldn't make sounds like that. <laughs> In my humble, humble opinion. Okay. The issue with this area is you really gotta be careful navigating. You have very narrow little pathways to maneuver through. And God knows you don't want to damage your boat because... Well, Big Mama could be lurking as you can see her up there. And the last thing we need is decreased speed or anything like that when we're trying to escape from her. Alright, so let's see. I think the Pale Skate is what we need for this altar right here so we can get our second flame. Are you what I need? Yes! The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core, which gives us a research part, two refined metals, and the fathomless flame. Hell yeah. Alright, perfect. Now, there should be one more flame. Let's quickly check our map. Should be just up on the next island, so let's at least go get a visual, get eyes on it out what we need to do for this next one, this final one. Uh, the issue is there are scary fish, but luckily we had a protective vent. There's the altar right there, I can see it. Ugh. It's gonna be a matter of maneuvering in here. Whew. Okay, I did it. Now, what do you need? You need uh the upright slab bears a curving. Two malformed fish writhing under the sun. So it wants two aberrated fish that are just two aberrated fish? Or two aberrated fish that are rotting from being out in the sun? I'm not sure. Okay, two aberrated fish is definitely part of it, so at least we know what we're looking for now. I have learned from not only my journeys here through the waters, but also from your guys' helpful commentary that the confetti, confetti waters that I find, ow, uh-oh, 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 oh, this is bad, oh, this is bad. I accidentally crashed my boat. Which disabled my main engine. Which is making us real slow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, luckily we're not far away from the merchants. I just broke my other engine too. Whew. That was too close for comfort. 
see, that's the issue with this place. It's so narrow, and then before you know it, your engines are disabled and you're surrounded by fish and... Okay, let's repair those. That was not ideal. But we made it back in one piece. Shockingly. Um, now that I've researched these tiny engines, I'm not sure what to spend my points on next. Perhaps upgraded nets? Or upgraded crab pots? I mean, we could go for the super big engine. Which, honestly, maybe that's the play. We go for whatever this is, presumably the ultra mega engine. Put my point in there. For now, before we do anything, I need to rest. Holy moly. Anyway, as I was trying to say before we almost died, I have learned that you can find aberrated fish most often in the little confetti spots, is what I've been calling them. There's some spots that have... <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. There's some spots that have little colorful particles around them, and I've been calling those confetti spots, and they have a high chance of catching aberrated fish, so... I'm gonna drop off the flame here, and then we're gonna go around and see if we can find some confetti spots. Okay, so first things first, let's drop off this flame. So as you can see, one of the statues is already lit, so we'll put this flame in the middle statue, which leaves us with one left. So now, off we go, in search of confetti. <laughs> That's not confetti, but it's golden. What do we have here? A message in a bottle. Ju 1st of June, 1927. Yesterday was the reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate went directly to him, of course, but to my surprise, she bequeathed me her pocket watch. Curious. I'm not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it will mean a lot to him. I cannot help but feel it is some veiled jab at me from beyond the grave. She was the type to do such a thing. Was I late on some occasion? I cannot recall. I'm learning so much about this couple from 1927, but... What I've been piecing together, I'm not sure if they had a happy ending, unfortunately. Now, I'm pretty sure there is a chance of catching aberrated fish just in regular fishing spots. I think the confetti just basically guarantees one. Because I know that we've just randomly gotten aberrated fish in our nets before. So, in that case, I'm gonna do a loop around the island and look for the confetti spots. But if we don't actually see any, I might just have to start fishing in a random hole and crossing our fingers that we catch something interesting. I've done a full loop here and I don't see any confetti. I would have to presume that the spots reset at the end of each day. Stop right here next to this vent, scare away that guy. But again, these are just assumptions that I'm making. Alright, no confetti, so let's just start, uh, let's just start fishing. Ooh, hang on. We've got gold in there. But we've also got... Mean fish. It sounds like Big Mama's nearby. If I come in... If we get explosives, I can blow that up right there and we'll get in easily. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll go home and... Home, I say. <laughs> Little does the traveler, traveling merchant know how much of a home she has given me. Uh, but I'm gonna buy some explosives once we get rid of this guy right here. Wow, they really follow you. And then I'll just randomly start fishing right here. See if we can catch anything, and if not, well, oh, wow, we depleted that fast. Come on. 
There's another one. I was gonna say, if not, at least we're making money. That's the good thing about this. Fishing's never necessarily a waste of time. Because you're always making money from it. Oh! There's an aberrated one. Tattered mackerel. Perfect. So you can indeed just pull them out of regular fishing spots sometimes. I don't know what, like, sort of the odds of that are. Obviously lower than, than the confetti spots. But still good to know. So what I might do tomorrow is I might just go park next to that other altar and just fish all the spots we can find. So make sure not to sell this aberrated fish. We'll sell everything we caught in our net. Get lots of money. And then I want to buy an explosive. There we go. Perfect. Catch some Z's. Tomorrow we'll head out, do some demolition work. And head back to that altar. Slow and steady through the obstacles here. Here's the spot we can blow up. Use explosives! Boom goes the dynamite! What do we have here? Some sort of treasure. Ooh, a stone tablet. Okay, we have gotten one of those previously, and it says to bring them back to the merchant at Little Marrow, so... When we're done here in Devil's Spine, we definitely need to go turn in these tablets to him and see what he has to say about them. No, though. No, I've never... Oh, there's Big Mama. Okay, we're going this way. I was just about to say I've never actually come this way to get to the altar, but we're going this way now because... I do not... Ow. Oh, no! I damaged my hull and I lost the aberrated fish overboard. You've got to be kidding me. Of all the things that could have happened, I lost the aberrated fish. Okay, that's frustrating. Well, I made it back to the altar. Guess now we'll just start fishing. See what we can find. Oh no. Get away from me. Man, Devil's Spine has been... I don't know if I want to go so far as to say annoying, but it's absolutely not my favorite place that we have encountered on our journey thus far. That is for absolute sure. I cannot relax here at all. There's always something- OH GOD! See? This is what I'm talking about! <laughs> I can never freaking relax. Something is always trying to eat me. Oh god, 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 god. Okay, I think Big Mama left us. For now, there's nothing else to do except try to catch some aberrated fish. Okay, it actually took me a little while, so I went ahead and took the liberty of uh, editing out sort of my endless circles around the area, but we have two aberrated fish now. The defaced skate and the serpentine mackerel. So let's try to head back to the altar, not lose any fish overboard this time. That part is key. Um, place these fishies in the altar, get that flame, and then, oh god, big mama. Hopefully we'll never have to do this ever again. God. Nope. Leave me alone, little fish and big mama. Wherever you are, there's a vent. Protect me. Oh, okay. Made it to the altar. It's almost nighttime. Hopefully this is what they need. Two malformed fish writhing under the sun. Yes! The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing an encrusted talisman. Ooh. What is this? It's a- it's a- 
A fish? It gives plus 330% fishing speed. Holy moly. Wow, okay, we uh, definitely might have to equip that. Uh, oh man, I don't have enough room in my storage. I didn't realize we were carrying so much stuff. Okay, we'll just have to, um... Just do a little inventory management there. Perfect. Okay. We got the flame. Let's get out of here. Back to the temple. Luckily, the temple's really easy to see. It really stands out. My work here is done! I've gotten all the flames! What happens now? Old flame roars in the statue's hands. Preparations are complete. The fanatic awaits. What is it? The flames are lit. Ah, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He pulls an antique pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. It found me during my rite of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped at my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. What are you doing? He ignores you. The wind picks up swirling sea spray around the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. A freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues, no pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pools around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold and damp. Inspect the pyre. This is what we're looking for. The antique pocket watch, our final relic. The clock face swims underneath cracked glass, hands spinning erratically. So I'm only just making this connection. The message in the bottle that we picked up earlier, from the couple that we've picked up many messages from, she mentioned getting an antique pocket watch. Do you think these are the relics we've been collecting from those couple's stories? You take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm, clock hands spinning wildly below the cracked face. Wow. Alright, we, uh, we got what we came here for. One way or another. R.I.P. The, to the fanatic. <laughs> Before we go back and turn in the relic, I need to go collect all my crab pots. Make sure we're ready for departure. Because honestly, once I leave the double spine, I don't know if I'm gonna come back. <laughs> Didn't love this place. Okay, my preparations are complete. All of my crab pots are harvested and repaired. Which means it is time to get the hell out of here. Luckily for us, we have the manifest ability, which I'm going to make full use of, to bring us right back to where we need to go. Hello, I have returned with what is perhaps the final relic. You climb the broken steps to the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Deliver the relic. He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. 
Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. Know what? It will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. Oh, well, okay. If that's the case, I need some time to prepare. Wow. All right, guys. We found all the relics, but we're not done yet. One final voyage awaits us. And hopefully we can finally get some answers to this mystery. I'm starting to collect some bread crumbs. I have theories on who this collector may be, but I'm sure it'll all become apparent next time. So thanks everyone so much for watching as always, and hopefully I will see you guys back here soon for what may be but the penultimate episode of Dredge. Thanks for watching, guys.